With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, so our question is, if a light ray incidents normally on one of the faces of the prism of reflective index 2 and the emergent ray just grazes the second surface of the prism, then angle of deviation is, our options are 0, 30 degree, 45 degree and 60 degree. Okay, so according to the question, let us suppose this is our prism with the sides A, B and C. A light ray is incident normally on the first surface, let us say as AB. So this is the incident ray falling normally on the first surface. Now the light ray emerges from the second surface AC just grazing the second surface or we can say that just touching the second surface. So this is the refraction up to the emergence from the second surface. This is our normal. Okay. Now this is the angle of prism A. This is our. So this will be equals to 90 minus A. Okay. Now the total angle over here is 90 degree. So this angle is 90 degree, therefore this angle will be equals to A. Now since it is not emerging from the second surface AC, it is just touching out the second surface, therefore this angle will be equals to the critical angle C. Okay, so we have found the relation that angle of prism is equal to the critical angle. Okay, now the critical angle is related with the refractive index as the refractive index of the rarer medium upon the refractive index of the denser medium. Now, since it is going from the prism to the air, so refractive index of the rarer medium will be equal to 1. So, it will be refractive index of the prism. Okay. So, from here, sine of A can be written as 1 upon refractive index of the prism, that is 2. So, it will be 1 by 2. So, from here, sine A will be equal to sine 30 degrees. So, we can say that our angle of prism is 30 degrees. Now, the angle of deviation, the angle of deviation will be this angle, correct. That is 90 minus A. Therefore, angle of deviation will be 90 minus A. So, this will be equal to 90 minus 30. So, it will be 60 degrees. Okay. So, it comes out as 60 degrees. So, choosing out from the options, we see our option 4 is correct. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.